Creative Cajun Cooking, maker of Magic Swamp Dust, presents the Outdoor Kitchen Show, where we'll head outdoors for some Louisiana food and fun. We'll show you some great recipes, meet some great people, and pass a good time in the great outdoors. So come on, and let's see what's cooking on the Outdoor Kitchen Show! Hi, and welcome to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we're in the kitchen with Captain Brent Roy of Venice Charters because they're going fishing out in Venice. Now, Brent, what were y'all catching? Well, we tried to get some trout, but it was a little bit too windy, and uh, the river's real high, so we ended up redfishing just crushed the reds, caught reds on every cast. Not a bad day, I tell you what, we're gonna cook some of those redfish today. Now you were talking on camera about how your mama would cook some uh, some fish, and you said she would pan fry it and put hollandaise sauce on it. That's right, she would pan fry it, and then she made up some kind of super duper homemade hollandaise sauce, and mm -hmm. she would dump it over there, and man, it's good. <laughs> That's what we are about to do. We're gonna do some Parmesan crisps, and we're gonna do some redfish pan fried with hollandaise sauce. So for all of this, stay tuned right here to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll be right back. Gator pickles, sweet and spicy pickles made with magic swamp dust seasoning. This poor gator had to go all the way to the swamp to get these tasty morsels, but you can find them on the shelf at your local grocery or online at creativecajuncooking.com. Gator pickles are made right here in South Louisiana with a sweet heat and a crunch that can't be beat. Use them for anything. Chop them up in your tater salad, put them on your sandwiches or hamburgers for the bite that slips up on you. Gator Pickles, get you some today. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Nothing elevates the beauty and value of a home like natural stone. Ascension Granite Marble offers quality stone for kitchens, baths, and businesses. Mined from exotic global locations, granite has its own personality, marble its own richness, and quartz can be anything you imagine. Ascension Granite is more than a showroom. Choose your slab in the stone yard and it will be carved, polished, and perfected on site. Ascension Granite and Marble in Gonzales, 644-2231 or ascensiongranite.com. Get on the bug man's plan. Rest easy in a pest-free environment. Call 923-BUGS. Follow my plan. Call the bug man. Follow the bug man's plan. Call 923-BUGS. Hey, this is Elvis with Defend It. I want to show you a new product that we have. It's a secret compartment table. You can store your valuables or firearms in. It's able to hold rifles or multiple pistols. Basically what we got is there's a secret compartment shelf. When closed, it's locked. To unlock it, you need this rare earth magnet, and all you have to do is just push. The secret compartment shelf is gonna open. Light comes on for 20 seconds, allowing you to retrieve whatever weapon or valuables you may have stored in there. It's your home, it's your family. Defend it. Hi, I'm Paul Salvin with the Bug Man Professional Pest Control. It's springtime and baseball, baby. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner and today we're in my kitchen with Captain Brent Roy of Venice Charters because the guy's going out fishing in Venice. Now Brent, you had some trouble with the water. Yeah, it was a little muddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the river was high. Yeah, the river was high and, it, and it's still high, but we're, we're, you know, we're still able to catch the redfish. The redfish are just congregated in areas where there's a little bit better water mm -hmm. and uh, as you'll see, it's just fantastic action. Yeah, I mean, y'all caught red after red after red. Now, all, not all of them were keeper size, but y'all were just catching them every cast. Right, I'd, I'd say about half of them are keepers, but you get a lot of action. It, mm -hmm. it literally is every cast. Yeah, with Venice Charters, you never have to worry about just sitting around twiddling your thumbs because you're going to find some fish. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So, uh, we're going to show you the fishing footage and of course, if you have any questions, you can go to venicecharters.com. And when they're done fishing, we're going to show you how to pan fry that redfish and make a homemade hollandaise sauce to go with it. Oh, there he is. That's a trout, I think. Look like a trout. This would be good, right? Yeah. I think it's a trout. Yeah, a nice trout. That's what we're looking for right there. Shazam, man. Yeah. 
Speckled trout, what do you know? Now you was just telling me that they're a little hard to locate. There he is. Hit him again, Sean. Reel down, reel, reel, reel. Hit him again. Right. Yeah, trout are, trout are a little tough right now because the river's so high, but they're still around. <laughs> just gotta find them. Redfish. Well, we had to make a little move. We ran up there towards Buras, trying to find some good water and some speckled trout. We found a few, but we had to come back down the river here to get into the, my old redfish stomping grounds. We haven't been here, but just a couple of minutes. Got two on, so. <laughs> That's a good sign. Pull him on in here. Now Sean's got one. We've been here, what, about five minutes? More like it. So he's a little small, but next year he's going to grow up and he's going to be an eater next year. So we're going to sit right here and catch our limited redfish. Hit him, Sean. See that cork running off sideways like that? <laughs> Ooh, I got another one. Might be another keeper. Let's see what he looks like. Another red, but he's a 15-incher. Well, look how white they are in that. Yeah, so that water is so muddy. They're kind of light, almost pink color. They're not. They're not red. They're pink. Real light color. Because of the water color. Is it the water that changes? Yeah, this is a water color. No, mostly they change colors depending on what color the water is. That is good. I've just got these spots where they kind of congregate. And this is one of them. They're just in these pockets because the water is cleaner and warmer in these pockets and there's a lot of bait fish. So, golly, that one nailed it. That one nailed it. Good, Sean. Get over there, man. Ooh. Another redfish. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, probably keep him. All right. I'll have to measure him. But... Wait, there's a lot of 15 inches right now, which is good because those are the ones that are going to be bigger later. Tons of them. Bet we caught 100 the other day. Not quite big enough. They're not right up on it. It seems like they're out just a hair. Must be some old canes right there. He's good. Just throw it out off the bank. Don't throw it so close to the bank. That one will keep. That one will keep. Perfect. And don't do nothing. Just keep your line tight and wait. You don't have to pop it. That means I got the magic touch. There he is. Hit him, Sean. Hit him again, Sean. Doubled up. Head two on. Ooh, Sean got a nice one. Oh, yeah. Now we got him going. Look at that line right here, buddy. Now we got him going. Every cast, isn't it, Sean? Yep. Get a bite every cast. Pretty reds. 16 to 18 inch redfish. The ones that everybody loves. Yep, that one's 17 inches. That's perfect. That's what we're looking for. For, for making a cooking show, that's the perfect size redfish right there. <laughs> yeah, it didn't take long at all. Oh, it's a nice sheephead. And we have a we have a recipe for that too. Um, you know, the old Cajuns always told me if you take it and cut the fillets off, take the skin off, and then you fillet them and you put the you put the fillet in a 
Whoa! Oh, we can't eat that one. But you put the filet in a, a crawfish sack, then you boil it, just like you, in crab boil, just like you would crabs. And it's supposed to taste just like crab meat. So. I've never done it, but it sounds like something we should do. Maybe on the, maybe on the outdoor kitchen show, that'll be our segment. You might have got your shrimp on there. He took your cork under. Ooh, look at this one. How pretty. He's got, he's got, bright blue tail. It means they're starting to feed a little bit more actively. His tail's kind of blue. They'll take them like that all day long, Sean. I don't need to measure that one. He's about 17 inches. Son, you hooked up. Let me just take him off and throw him back, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, wait a he's getting a blue tail too. Yeah, he's a pretty one. They grow really fast, so in a month or so, he'll be illegal. Yeah, <laughs> he's got it. He didn't even have time to take the cork under, man. He nailed it quick. Ooh, that's a nice one. There you go. Now bring him up here and measure him, Sean. Make sure he's 16 inches. Oh, that one might be a keeper or maybe another sheephead. It is. So now we got another sheephead for our experiment. I'll try not to. Put that one in the boat. They call that a bay snapper. We call it dinner. We're gonna try our experiment where we boil him in a crawfish sack, see if it tastes really tastes like crab meat. That one might make it, huh? Measure that one. It's got a lot of spots on him. That's what I was saying. Look at them. Ooh, pretty one. Are they going to be Pure Venice fish. <laughs> you got to wear glasses because you don't really want to put a hook in your eyeball. Ooh, that's a keeper. Go this way. Nice keeper there, I think. He's pretty. He's got a little more color than the others. Hold him up and, uh, and then measure him. I bet you that one's 16. He looks like the kind we're looking for. Seems a little heavier. Right there. Golly. They're in there, thick. There must be a hundred of them in there. How much did you have to pay that scuba guy to take them out of the cage and put them on a hook and pull that? Hook? He's not cheap. Cheap. To do it like a man, not like a girl. Well, you know what? <laughs> he don't wanna. Here, let me just show the fish. There you go. Let me, let Open that cooler that. over there. See what else is in there. There we go. <laughs> okay, and we got one more coming in. There you go, perfect. They seem to be about where my cork is right there. There's some old rozo canes submerged right there. And those fish will lay up in them. That's where all the crabs and shrimp get disoriented when that current washes them through there. We had a double then. Sean got his, a nice one. Tell us that secret recipe you got. On the pan frying? Well, anything's good with crab meat. Sauce or something? Yeah, what well, my mom always did is she would pan fry them, the smaller reds and the speckled trout, dredge it in flour, seasoned flour, and then just pan fry it in butter until they're kind of crispy. Oh, I got a fish on, sorry. But, um, once you get them pan fried in butter and they're crispy golden brown, uh, she would make a homemade hollandaise sauce and then just top them with that, kind of spoon that hollandaise sauce over the, uh, the filets. 
pretty good. Oh, there he is, Sean. Oh, that's a good one. I think we found him, Sean. What do you think? Swing him up in here, buddy. Here. Right here to me. Good job, man. You want to kiss him before I throw him back? Yeah. Hang on, hang on. See, he's right up, just under it. You want to kiss? Good luck. When a recipe tells you to ask your butcher for help, who do you trust? Ralph's Market. They have the highest quality meats and trained butchers on staff that can custom cut at no extra charge or try their ready-to-cook stuffed chicken and chops, or their take-home hot deli plates. Whether it's gourmet or everyday, come to Ralph's Market at Gonzales, Jones Creek, or Pelican Point, the market you trust for the best quality, selection, and local friendly service. When you fire up your pot for a good gumbo, you ought to know the secret of Marie Laveau. She has a season and that's a must Made in Louisiana, it's magic swamp dust She sprinkles and she stirs her black iron pot but You better watch out cause when she uses all she's got she goes Another can done gone Get on the bug man's plan Rest easy in a pest free environment Call 923 BUGS Follow my plan. Call the bug man. Follow the bug man's plan. Call 923 Bugs. Gorman Brothers Appliances on Airline in Prairieville. When ordinary just won't do. Nothing runs like a deer at Ascension Equipment in Gonzales. And now is the best time to stop by and check out all of the John Deere tractor packages available. Come pick out your next ZTR with electric fuel injection, Kohler engines, and the legendary 7 Series mower decks. Or how about your next John Deere Gator with enough power to go from 0 to 30 in 3 seconds. With so many options to choose from, you have to see them to believe them. Come see the whole line of John Deere equipment at Ascension Equipment in Gonzales, a cut above the rest. Hi, I'm Paul Salvin with the Bug Man Professional Pest Control. It's springtime and baseball, baby. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are cooking with Captain Brent Roy of Venice Charters, and right now we're doing some bacon-wrapped asparagus. Wow, these asparagus, these bacon wrapped asparagus look really good. Where did you pick those up? Yeah, these, you get them at Ralph's Market. Uh, they come pre-wrapped for you, and if you don't beat them up like I did in the skillet trying to get everything done, they stay really pretty. But I'll tell you what, this is the big, thicker, meaty bacon. So you go ahead and grab one. Yeah. But these are pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And all you have to do is just cook it until the bacon's done. Yeah, Easy. Yeah, that's perfect. You can do these in the oven or on the griddle. It's all good. We've done these before, but they're gonna go really good with the redfish. Yeah. That's right, in the first part of the show, the guys went fishing with Captain Brent out of Venice Marina, and now we're gonna show you how to pan fry that redfish with a homemade hollandaise sauce. And first, we're gonna get started with some Parmesan crisps. Okay, to go with our redfish today, I'm just gonna do these little Parmesan crisps. You just take a shredded Parmesan cheese, and to fill in the gaps, you can add a little of the grated along with it. And we're just gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees until it's golden brown. Now, I have some fresh basil from my garden that I'm just gonna to top on there. You can put pretty, pretty much anything with these, even in my jalapeno peppers or whatever, but um, it's just gonna melt and get brown and crispy. Um, don't wanna overcook them because they'll burn, but um, super easy, 350 till they're brown. All right, for our hollandaise sauce, we're gonna make it homemade. You can add any kind of flavors you want to this. And we're gonna start with four egg yolks and a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice. You can use any kind of citrus for this, uh, but I'm using lemon today since I'm putting it over fish. And we're just gonna basically beat the heck out of it until it doubles in volume. Then we're gonna put it over a double boiler. 
All right, so I'm doing a makeshift double boiler here. I've got some water that's just barely simmering in the pot to keep it nice and warm because we don't want to scramble our eggs for our hollandaise. So we've got our lemon juice and eggs beaten together. Just going to cook these a little bit. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to add in a stick of melted butter. Just drizzle it in. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Demi Babbins smoking fry and rub in there for some heat. It's got just a little bit of salt, and I'll throw a little of that basil in there too. And just whisk it till it's saucy. Okay, these are the breadings that we're gonna use today. I've got uh, an egg white wash, which is just the egg whites and some water mixed together just to give it a little moisture and bind our, uh, our breadcrumbs. This is the panko crumbs with uh, magic swamp dust and also the smoke and fry and rub, or you can use the gator wing batter. It's just like dredging and seasoned flour. And of course, this is already seasoned with the swamp dust and all that good stuff. So you can choose either the crispier or the smoother one, okay? And of course, you can add Parmesan cheese to these things too. That's good too. So this is how I have my cooking station set up. You see the redfish over there in a bowl already cleaned, then the egg white wash, and then the gator wing batter, and the panko crumbs with swamp dust, and I've got some butter in this skillet, and also a little bacon grease. Now this one is coated in the gator wing batter only, and it fries up really nice. Now if you want some extra crunch, you go with the panko crumbs and the swamp dust, and they're both very good. You can get these plain panko crumbs over at Ralph's Market, and then add the magic swamp dust to your heart's desire. Just make sure you keep your heat at a medium level so the butter doesn't burn and turn black. All right, how are we looking here? We got Parmesan crisp, we got bacon wrapped asparagus, we have the panko and swamp dust redfish, and then we also have the gator wing batter fish. That's this one here, and this is the panko fish. Um, and they're both going to be really good because they've been fried in butter. And let's not forget our homemade hollandaise sauce. How pretty is this? Nice and thick and um, hollandaise -y. That's a good word for it. Buttery, it's just eggs and butter, y'all. I mean, it's not, not too hard as long as you don't scramble those eggs. Um, you'll be fine. All right, time to eat. We'll be right back with more here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Cajun Catch Seafood Market and Deli in Gonzales has everything from fresh seafood on ice to hot crawfish, crabs, or shrimp right out of the boiler. The deli is open weekdays for lunch. Come try their new daily lunch specials, po' boys, burgers, or crispy, crunchy fried chicken. You know that if you want it boiled, fried, or stewed, come on down to Cajun Catch Seafood on Ari's Roth next to the fire station in Gonzales. Call 225-647-FISH. Do you have dental insurance? If not, no problem. Here at Absolute Quality Care Family Dentistry, we are excited to offer you our exclusive dental membership plan. By purchasing our plan, you would receive preventive dental services free of charge and other dental services at a greatly reduced price. Our plan was designed for patients, new and existing, that do not have dental insurance, giving you the opportunity to receive same-day treatment. Our dental membership plan is the best option for saving you and your family money. So call us today for more information and begin saving. The Louisiana Wildlife Federation is the oldest nonprofit conservation group in Louisiana, formed by sportsmen in 1940 to protect your right to access and enjoy healthy fisheries and wildlife habitats statewide. LWF represents the voice of Louisiana's outdoors, both in the field and at the Capitol. LWF also supports the Vanishing Paradise campaign that advocates for critical restoration in the Delta and on the coast. Speak up for our state. Become an LWF member today. Get on the Bugman's plan. Rest easy in a pest-free environment. Call 923-BUGS. Follow my plan. Call the Bugman. Follow the Bugman's plan. Call 923-BUGS. Nothing runs like a deer at Ascension Equipment in Gonzales. And now is the best time to stop by and check out all of the John Deere tractor packages available. Come pick out your next ZTR with electric fuel injection, Kohler engines, and the legendary 7 Series mower decks. Or how about your next John Deere Gator with enough power to go from 0 to 30 in 3 seconds. With so many options to choose from, you have to see them to believe them. Come see the whole line of John Deere equipment at Ascension Equipment in Gonzales. A cut above the rest. Hi, I'm Paul Salvin with the Bug Man Professional Pest Control. It's springtime and baseball, baby.
Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today we went red fishing with Captain Brent Roy of Venice Charters and then we pan fried that red fish with a homemade hollandaise sauce on top. We served it with some parmesan crisps and bacon wrapped asparagus. Okay, now this is done. I'm just gonna put a little squeeze of lemon here on that fish. And I want you to try the panko fish, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the uh, Jimmy's fish. I know it's it's all good. Oh, it we'll looks get a little fantastic! Bit of that I can't wait. Hollandaise in there. Yes. Mm. I'm gonna use my hands. You'll like the crunch. Bit. Oh, it's all good. Get mm. in there. Mm. We're at my house. <laughs> mm. Now, Brent, the reason I cooked this is because you made me hungry when I was editing the fishing footage, talking about how your mom would make this. Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> it is. It's excellent. The the panko breadcrumbs are unbelievable. Mm -hmm. I've never had it that way, but it's. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, when I was growing up, we always would go down to Ono Island, down on the Florida coast near Perito Beach, mm -hmm. and my dad and mom would would put up lights out on the dock at night, and we'd go out there and catch speckled trout. Not big ones, but nice 14-inch speckled trout at night, and, and we would, my mother would always, this is how she would serve it. She would pan fried in butter. Mm -hmm. Just uh, there's a little bacon grease in that too from that bacon wrapped yeah. asparagus. Ooh, man. <laughs> that and uh, good. that that yeah, and uh, and and then we would make a she would make a hollandaise sauce just like you did and put mm -hmm. it over it. So that's always been my favorite way to eat speckled trout or uh, pan frying sized redfish like this. Now I'll be honest with you, Brent. I have never caught a speckled trout anywhere past Louisiana. <laughs> I really haven't. Um, most of the time, whenever you go to the beach, you see people coming off those ch charters, and mm. they're they're holding up um, red snapper and well, amberjack. If they're lucky, they get some red snapper. But sometimes mm. they come back with a bucket of trash fish, or what we consider trash mm -hmm. fish. And Venice, where you fish, where you charter guide, it, it's such a bounty. Mm -hmm. What's it, it like being able to fish in Venice every day? I, I wouldn't want to do it anywhere else. I wouldn't want to be a charter boat captain anywhere else. Mm -hmm. We're just very, very fortunate because our fishery is so strong and, um, you know, I, I'm, I wouldn't want to, I guess you could say I'm spoiled. Yeah. Well, I mean, everything around there too. I mean, it's not just the, the fishing, but you got all of the seafood, all the shrimp and the crab and the oysters and everything else. And then also the citrus and the Creole tomatoes and everything else. I'll tell you what, when we go down to Venice, we make sure we have plenty of cash to tip the charter guide and then also stop at all the farmer stands on the way back. Because that's, that's right. some fantastic stuff. There is. It's, it's just, uh, it's a fabulous place, Blackman's Parish. And uh, it's got a lot, like you said, it's, it's a bountiful place. Mm -hmm. And a lot of coastal restoration going on. You can find out more at Louisiana Wildlife Federation's website. It's down here at the bottom. And of course, if you want to take um, a charter fishing trip out in Venice, you contact Venice Charters Unlimited. That's your Facebook page. And then also you have the, the website that's got your phone number and pictures and all that stuff. And I tell you, if you go to the Facebook page, you will get really jealous of all the pictures of the speckled trout and redfish that you bring in just about every day. And, um, and look, it's an awesome time. Brent is our guy down in Venice. Anybody who asks us where, who to go with, this is our guy right here. So give him a call. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna have the recipes on the website and all the information that you need, including videos and links. So make sure you go to our website at theoutdoorkitchenshow.com and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Brent. Thank you. All I'll right. See you. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah.